This is a very long overdue video that I've been meaning to do for quite a few months. Um, but because of the release of uh, these Aeromax um, OSDs, I've decided that I'm going to build myself another Mini Talon. Now I'm going to be fitting, I'm going to be using the Aeromax, and hang on, I'll get the rest of the kit. Found them. Well, I'll move that out of the way. So the first one is a uh, Emax. Is it an Emax? Yeah, an Emax 60 amp PSC Simon series, which I might flash with BL Heli. I don't know. I might just leave it as is. Um, not really bothered. But anyway, um, Emax ES 08 MA. These the analog um, servos. Purely because that's all I've got. This is all going to be what I've got. So they're mega lightweight. So I'm going to be using them all round. An X8R, which has been so battered, it's been used on so many things, all my projects and everything, it's been mounted and unmounted and everything else, so it's battered. But it works. Um, that's an M8, M8N, which is just the GLONASS um, satellite, so I'm going to be using that. Um, an ET200, I think. I might use a 1.3 or 1.2. I think I've got one somewhere, I can't remember. But I might be using that, but I might be using the other, I don't know yet. Um, a Hobbywing 5 amp. Um, BEC with a switch. It's nice to have a switch. I don't know why. <laughs> and I'm going to be using a NASE. Uh, before you jump in and say, I want to use a NASE too, bear in mind this is going to have iNav on it. Now, with the NASE itself, um, you can only fly for one hour, 15 minutes, I think it is, round about that, you know, an hour. Uh, purely because the internal clock goes overflow, um, it will only cycle have enough cycles for actually one hour and fifteen minutes. What happens after that is <laughs> anybody's guess. So bear that in mind. You've only got about an hour. So I'm going to start building. I'm going to put all this together in a thing, and then I'll thing. You know what I mean? Oh, the last thing I'm going to be using is a T motor. Uh, what's this? The MT2216 1100KV. Uh, this comes off one of my quads. Um, I'm starting to lose interest with quads, to be honest, because of the bad name that people with drones or whatever you call them have actually brought them. Uh, people seem to like aeroplanes, so it, it's sad, really. I used to enjoy flying my quads, but you know it's it's all sort of gone now. But anyway, I'm going to be using that. I figured out how to do a custom mixer for a V tail. So what I've got here is these are the two um, elevator cum rudder servos, and this these are the two aileron servos. So when I pull back on the stick. The two tail ones both go inwards, which is probably right, I don't know. The forwards they both go outwards, and then if I bank right, one will go one way, one will go the other. If I turn that, that way like that, you see that one goes one way and one goes the other, and the same with those. And with the rudder, they both go the same way, which is how they should do. And if you hold that back, yeah, so when you're banking, so, and the other thing to check, this is only in stabilizer at the minute, so I don't know whether it'll actually work. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and explain what goes to where. Right, the two, the elevator cum rudder servos go to six and three. Uh, 
and then the ailerons go to two and five yeah so what I'll do is I'll leave in the description I'll leave the script that you have to put into the CLI command to get that working so that now does the VTAL mixing so what I'm going to do is try and put it in the plane I've got something rare coming through the window, it's called sunlight look. So, it's flying season nearly. I've unplugged all the um, all the servos now because I've got those mapped out and I've written them all down. And I'm setting up on soft serial, which one is it now? Soft serial 1, I'm going to put the GPS. So, on this model number here, I don't know if you can see the, the pinouts and everything else on there. Uh, RX, usually RX goes to TX and TX goes to RX. But on this one I've got RX going to RX and TX going to TX on soft serial 1. So what I've done is, hang on, I've connected uh, receive, which is the green one, goes to pin 6 and transmit which is the blue one goes to pin number five so I've written those down and now I know that's working I can disconnect that obviously I've had to set it up in um, in iNav and everything else but I know that works now so what I'm going to do next is connect um, the OSD and see how we get on with that sunshine this is the new Aeromax OSD which I showed you in the last video which I'm going to be using to connect to that thing down there um, with all the pinouts and everything else that you possibly could need uh, it's got the current sensor, uh, voltage sensor, it does telemetry, this that and the other but I'm not going to be using all of it, all of the sensors on here because it's going to be connected directly to that there so what I'm going to do is um, I've got to put the headers on. I've got to put the header things on there, which it does actually come with them, uh, 90 degree and straight ones actually. So I'm going to put those on there so I can program it up, and then um, I don't know what. Oh, incidentally. There is actually a, a Google app for these, a Google add-in that you can actually um, configure this through now and apparently in the future you'll be able to upload all the firmware and everything with it as well. So you won't need any Arduino, you won't need the FTDR or anything like that. I've changed it around a bit. Um, the GPS is now using Soft Serial 2. Uh, the reason why I've done it is just to keep in line with the, all the wiring diagrams that other people have done. So the hang on the receive or the green now goes to pin number eight and the transmit goes to pin number seven. Uh, like I say, just to keep in line with everything else. So what I'm gonna do is then wire this up. Uh, I also want telemetry on here, which I'm gonna wire up to the smart port, I think it is smart port or RSSI, I don't know which one I'm doing yet. So I'm going to get that working and then I'm going to try and get the rest of that working. Well I am officially pissed off because my Tyrannus has broken. I was trying to bind, uh, trying to get telemetry back from the XATR back to the Tyrannus and it wouldn't do the telemetry, it would bind and then every now and again my radio it wouldn't come on properly and it was coming up with loads of crap on the screen um, anyway I updated the firmware on this, I've updated the firmware on the receiver and it just wouldn't get the proper telemetry come through I've got, only got the three channels which is the the power going to the receiver the RSSI and I don't know what else it was anyway um, and it's finally packed in I suppose luckily it's done it now and not when I was flying somewhere <laughs> but the only downside is me being me I haven't backed it up <laughs> I've got all my models all my settings absolutely everything on there and 
I've had to spend 180 quid, I think it was, on a new one on a Tyrannis Plus, and I'm pissed off because I can't afford it, but I need it. This is the essential part of RC flying. Why me? <laughs> why? Please, someone answer. Why me? Well, I traced it back. The STM32 uh, ARM processor's fried by the looks of it. Um, I'm getting nothing out of it. Um, I'm not going to bother taking that off. I'm not going to bother getting a new one or a new main board. This is actually one I changed the LEDs in, which you can see I've. Yeah, because they were blue and now they're orange, which took a long, long time to do it. Anyway, I bought a new one, so I'm going to methodically take this one apart and or take all the switches off because they're all perfectly fine. And I'm just going to keep them for spares just in case or for other projects I want to work on. I'll keep the display and everything else. It's unfortunate, that is. Very unfortunate because I can't f afford a new one. This is a very overlong, <laughs> overlong, overdue, that was it, overdue, no, long overdue, bollocks. And then the internal clock, um, it's actually, uh, I don't know fully what, no, oh, f bollocks and shitty f uh, This actually comes off a, um, f who am I? <sighs> My God, why does it always happen to me?